Hello and welcome to Timberdale's 2023 fourth grade curriculum package. This is Hope. I'm Grace. We're going to walk you through what an elite package looks like. Again, you can always purchase the basic or the complete online or do a customized version if you need to alter different levels of the math or you're doing history together as a family. Go online. You can do that there. Um, but let's walk you through what's included in a fourth grade elite. And starting off with our handbook, yep. which is not pictured here, uh, waiting for it to get back from the print. So that's going to include basically an overview of each item and how to schedule it, yeah. as well as access to our online scheduler where you can go in, customize your weekly schedule, print it off. You can add chores or physical exercise or anything else that you want to be on the weekly checkoff that your student needs to do. And then you can print that off and your student can kind of self-manage and make sure that they get all their schoolwork done for the week. So a fantastic resource there. It's also going to give you the reading challenge, which is great for getting a literature component um, gives you access to a number of different books that should be available from your local library so that way we, you don't have to add that to the cost of the curriculum. Yeah. So you can watch our video on the handbook and the schedule and the reading challenge separately and see more about that. But let's dive into language arts and what's included. And I'm going to start off with the language smarts E, which is what we like to call the multivitamin of language arts because it does include kind of a broad range of everything in language arts. It's a complete curriculum and it's going to take Take your student very colorfully, very um, low prep, open and go, get them through all of these different topics, including reading, writing, spelling, grammar, punctuation. It's going to have that all in there, but then we really like to take it and kind of focus in on a couple of those subjects and let's look at Mazdas for that. Okay, so yes, let's take a look at Mazdas. So Mazdas is the literature uh, focus portion of this curriculum. What we love about Mazdas is the content is wholesome, the stories are interesting, you've got a wide variety of what kind of literature is included in there. You've got poems, you've got um, famous stories. I know some of the books of Mazdas include things like Laura and Mary Ingalls, um, not in this one, but in other ones. You've got all sorts of topics that it's covering. Also includes some questions for your child to answer. And so we would recommend for most families, that's what you would have your child do. Read, this, read the selection, answer the questions orally, that would be adequate. Other students, if you would like them to, they could also fill out the fill in the blank workbook so you can make sure that they have some reading comprehension, they know what they read, and they understand it. That's what this is for. And then for the student that really is into writing, you want to go full on, have a complete writing curriculum, creative writing curriculum, that's where the teacher's manuals can also help you because in the reader, they'll have some creative writing prompts for you. And then in the teacher's manual, they'll give you a little bit more information about what to expect from those. So all in all, a great program for as far as you want it to go. And even if you're saying not very far this year, the reader itself is beautiful and well worth it. Then for the other part of writing would be the daily trait writing. So this covers the six traits of writing. So yes, you've got creative writing in here and you've got the literature, but now you just want to make sure your child knows the six traits of writing. That's included in here and it's a page a day. You've got um, the teacher's portion here that will tell you exactly what to say, what your child needs to know about this week's assignments, and then again, just do a page and be done, do a page and be done, so it's very easy for your child to accomplish, but make sure that they get that good foundation in the six traits of writing. And then let's look at cursive logic. So this is going to follow in the steps of the third grade one that they would have already done, which gave them the solid uh, cursive logic. This is going to give you an overview so that way they remember the skills that they just learned. And then it goes into um, 50 different um, famous figures. Yeah, famous people from the U.S. So each state has a different person featured and the student is going to do in cursive that uh, quote from them. So you're getting some history, you're getting something um, valuable to be writing down. It's not just a fox jumped over a log. Um, and it's gonna be kind of uh, building on the cursive logic skills. Yeah, and, and they're, they're really finding that having a student um, with a cursive skill is helpful for advanced brain function. So the, the ability to write in cursive to take notes physically instead of just uh, typing them out, it does make a difference and this will help your student to be able to do that. And then last in the language arts, we have the spelling you see 
E level, and this is a visual spelling program, and what, there's a couple things we love about it. One is it's a 10 minutes a day program. So they encourage you to work on it for 10 minutes and put it aside, doesn't matter how far they've gotten through, put it aside, pick it up the next day. So your child's never overwhelmed by the spelling component. Also, the visual spelling there, your child's gonna be doing chunking, where they're circling chunks of letters that go together in different words, so they can recognize this pattern of, hey, I see the CH, 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 and they circle all those a certain color. Um, also, it works on copy work and dictation. So by adding all of those components, your child is able to take it from the short-term memory and put it into the long-term memory and therefore learn the spelling skills that they will need for all of their writing. Okay, now let's take a look at math and thinking skills. So let's start with math. In fourth grade, we have the Delta Matthew C version. And as in the other grades, it comes with the student workbook, it comes with the teacher's manual, so you can read it off of there, and it also comes with the DVD and also a card with online access. So if you want to watch the lessons online, want to, have to hand your child the DVD, either way you've got options. Especially as you go into the older grades, this is great because it takes you out of the hot seat for remembering the different mathematical rules, um, and it also helps keep it all coming from the same perspective. Um, I know for us growing up, how mom taught it versus how dad taught it could be confusing um, things sometimes. And so again, it's always coming from the Demi people and they're always teaching the same concept throughout. Also, it comes with the manipulatives. And again, this is a lifesaver, especially as the concepts get harder that you can take them back and say, let's go back to what you know, let's visualize it with the manipulatives that are included here in this box, and let's see how it actually, in real life, this is how this, how this equation works out. Um, also, in the notebook, I mean, in the workbook, it's handy to know you don't have to do every single page. So if your child struggles with math, you'll be grateful for all the resources they include in there, the lesson review, the practice, um, and all of that. But if your child excels at math, you'll also be glad to know that they encourage you do the lessons pages and move on. Don't belabor the point. So flexible for both. Yep. And then let's look at thinking skills. So for the main portion of our thinking skills, we've got building thinking skills. And this is going to be a very complete course that's going to teach, let's see if I can show you what is in here. Um, it's going to teach a wide range of topics a very thorough program. It's gonna be doing logical thinking, similarities and differences, sequences, classifications, analogies, antonyms and synonyms, spatial awareness, vocabulary development, and so much more. So there is really no program like this in, in the amount of depth and the way it teaches thinking. We feel like thinking skills are, are such a neglected um, topic. topic and so, this book covers it in a way that none other does, and we highly, highly recommend that you have your student do this book. If they've not done it yet, do this book. Yes. Um, and then we supplement it with some of these thinking skill games. So this is Quixio. This is your multiplayer game, um, but it's not just a game, it's definitely gonna get you thinking. So the, the way it works is you start off with everything blank, and then you take turns um, picking up the piece, and you have to put it at the other end. So if I pick up this one and I'm X, I can, oops, I can either put it here, shoving it down, or I could have put it here, shoving it down. And your goal is to get a row of your symbol, whatever that is. And you could tell if you've got a plan going and your opponent comes along and just moves your whole plan down the row, it really messes things up. So you gotta be thinking so many steps ahead to say, how could this go bad yes. on me? Yes, so this helps with social skills. This is a fun way to connect. It's also working on executive functioning and logic and planning and all those great thinking skills. Yes. And then lastly in thinking skills, we have the single player um, th critical thinking game Titanic. And this is a Timberdale exclusive and I love this game. I, we had it when we were younger and then it went out of print and thankfully Timberdale's brought it back and we just love it. So basically you've got all the lifeboats and the people and they've got all these challenges. Let me open it up in here. You've got all these challenges inside that you're working with and so then you just lay whatever challenge you're working on in there and place the grate over it and you can see through the grate to see where to put the boats. The boats are going along to rescue all the people. The, the twist is, is once you go by somebody, they're gonna jump on board. So if you pass them, they're jumping in, and once your lifeboat is full, it can't move anymore. So then you've gotta plan ahead how you can rescue all the people on the board without getting your lifeboat stuck in positions that will prohibit you from moving anybody else. So, great game. Okay, now let's take a look at history and geography. So for history, we are now in the fourth level of story of the world. So this one is covering the modern age. As in all the other grades, you get 
the reader, the activity book, and the audio version. And so, again, your child can read through this. You can read through it with them. The audio version is also, for us, for our families, audio version has worked best because it's easy, it's on the go, but different families will do different ways, and that's why we've included both. Also included is the activity book. So more activities than you're going to have time for. And that is their goal when they put together this activity book, is to give you so many different ideas. So you've got maps, you've got coloring pages, you've got baking ideas, you've got craft ideas. So many ideas that something in there will appeal to your children, and they realize that you could be working with multiple um, ages and just doing history together all in one group. And so they've included ideas for a variety of ages. So a great supplement to the reader, to the audiobook. If you really want to take it to the next level, the activity book is the way to do that. And then we have the graphic novels. So we've got the true stories of World War I, World War II, and Civil War. These are going to draw your students in big time because it's graphic novel format. So you've got just these vivid illustrations and the kids immediately are, are sucked into the story and just want to sit there and read these. But you've also given them a, a picture of what this time was like and it, it makes some of the history that they're reading here really come alive to kind of get a glimpse of, oh, this is how this really played out. Um, and then we have the 24-hour history graphic novel. So again, really pulling you into the, the, um, the tension of that 24 hours, whether it's the assassination of John F. Kennedy or the Apollo 11 moon landing or any of the other 24 hour sections that we cover in here. It's just going to really turn that history alive for your kid and make them understand a little bit more about that time. Yeah. And then let's look at geography. So we've got the Geog the Skill Sharpener's Geography Grade 4. This is going to cover everything from map skills to time zones. It's give, it gives you reading sections and little um, assignments that the student's going to do. This is an often neglected area, and so this the geography is a very accessible way to jump in there, cover what they need to know, and they'll be very familiar with all the terminology, and it's, it's really going to be a complete course for them. Yep, and then we also have the Flags of the World, and this is, you get almost 200 repositional flags, the key to which flags go to which country, and the double-sided poster to put these flag stickers on. And what we would suggest is for some families it would be as you go through and complete reading your reading challenge, matching the flag, reading, matching the book to the country and then putting the flag on the map. And that kind of helps you track which countries you've read about and just a fun way to do that. Or even if you're not using it with the reading challenge, it's a fun way for your child to correlate the flags of the world with the geographical locations. So a fun supplement either way. Let's take a look at science. So for faith-based, we have science in the age of reason. This is going to be looking at science chronologically. So you're going to cover a wide variety of topics, a wide variety of different scientists. It's going to give you a conversational lesson an activity and a lesson review. So very simple in its presentation and yet an in-depth program comes with the lab kit so everything you need is at your fingertips and then also it's got the student notebook. So and because the activities are um, with the lab kit they're easy to implement it makes it a great program for either hands-on learners, visual learners, or read it out loud and, and hit your auditory learners. So it's a great program for any kind of learner that you're working with. Which makes me also think to tell you that this also is for multiple ages. So we love that if you are teaching a couple of grades at the same time, they've designed this program to work with all the elementary ages so you can just bundle everybody in at the same time and come on, let's do science together. So a really fun way to do that. And then both in the faith-based and in the non-religious, you have the Dr. Bonified Presents. And this time you're gonna be looking at bones of the foot, leg, and pelvis. So this can not only teach your, your, your student about their bones in a very engaging way, this also will qualify as a health course. So if that's a requirement for your state, um, this will meet that criteria for you. And then in the non-religious science we have new this year is Discover Science. So this has just came out and we're really excited to include it with these kits. A couple things that we like about it. We like the colorful format. We like how it, each lesson includes, um, it hits it from a number of different ways. So they do it, hey, this is what you're gonna learn. So simple machines, here's what you're gonna learn. Let's explore this topic. Let's think about it a little bit. Now that we've explored it, let's read about it. Write, write what you learned. Show me what you know, fill in the blanks or circle the right answer. And then sometimes a little experiment at the end of that. Hey, why don't you get out 
um, the cars and let's see which one can go faster or whatever it is. Let, let's do a little experiment based off of what you have learned today. Also in the teacher's manual, they include everything you need to know. Plus they have suggestions for, hey, if you're dealing with a kinesthetic learner or a visual learner, auditory learner, here's some additional things you can do to help supplement this lesson that will really bring it to life. So a really great program. We're excited it exists now and we're excited to offer it to you. Okay, in STEM for fourth grade, we include the Robotics Stream and we include levels one and two, which gets your child 24 projects that they will be building. And basically this is walking your child through the basics of building a robot. So you're gonna to cover such things like as um, generating electricity with your hand or, or changing the speed of your robot or how to make the center of gravity work for you in building your robot what's the advantage of six feet versus four feet waddling walking on two feet etc so a lot of things a lot of different um, aspects of building a robot that your child will need to think through to be successful in it and then actually building them using the components in these two kits we also have the my crazy invention sketchbook and this is a fun way to really get your students Students thinking. So for example, it's, it's going to have 50 drawing activities for young inventors. For example, you've got this one where it has a desi this designer has created a dress that inflates into a chair. So you can take a seat literally with you anywhere. And then the challenge for your student is what invention would make your life easier? And they are to draw something that would make their life easier. So it's a really fun way to get them problem solving and inventing and thinking and, and the divergent aspects. So there is no one answer. Your child is going to have to come up with what will work for this situation for them. Okay, and then let's take a look at art. So we've got write and draw your own comics. This is going to walk you through all the different steps to creating your own comic strip. Um, it's how to, how to do it, make up the characters, how to draw them, and giving you lots of rich examples, assignments, and room to create. So a wonderful course taking you from the very beginning. Yep. And then for the hands-on portion, we've got the carving kit. So last year it was the soapstone bear, and we don't have it in the warehouse here yet because it's so brand new, but it's gonna be the alabaster polar bear this year. So if you prefer the bear, you can always customize it. We've got a couple other options online. You can always change it out, but the alabaster polar bear is gonna be the default one, and that gives you all the instructions on how to create this gorgeous stone, um, replica and your your kids are going to really enjoy it. So if you had a student go through last year and got this one and then you get to freshen it up for this year and they get a brand new but same thing as far as carving with the file polishing it up and it just will look great you feel like your child feels very successful by the end of it and has this adorable little carving afterwards. Then lastly we have the jigsaw set and so this one basically open it so you see you're getting a number of brightly colored little jigsaw pieces and they do look like tiny tiny little puzzle pieces um, that you're going to either your child could create on their own or they'll be following with the directions on the book. So you can see here this owl and one I created in my own colors there. Um, they hold, as you can tell, they hold together really well. So your creations, it's kind of fun afterwards to be able to see what they look like without worrying about falling apart. Again, so many different colors here, so many options, so many possibilities taking the concept of pic picture pixelization and turning it into a jigsaw puzzle, therefore jigsaws. The other art component that we're really excited to bring to you this year is the Have I Got a Story for You Impressionist course. So this is going to give you 16 lessons and the, the instruction is very engaging. There's, there are video lessons that are historically based and so you're going to be learning about this era, art appreciation, history, and technique. And then after having watched those lessons with your students, then they're going to go and work through um, innumerable options for crafts or other projects that you want to do to reinforce what they've learned here. So you can take it as far as you want. The, the options are there, the course is ready for you, but it's a fantastic way to learn about history and it's usable with a broad range of ages. So you can have all your kiddos join in on this. We like to do cousin school and have everybody gather around, watch the video, and then do the craft together afterward. And it's a, a great time of learning and fun.
Okay, now let's take a look at the help section. So we've got the Mix By Me Thinking Putty, which is fantastic for those of us who don't sit still and think at the same time. So this is gonna let your student take some thinking putty, mix in a sensory component with these little hide inside pieces, which are fun in and of themselves to have them mixed in there and then you try to find the different pieces. But it's also fun for those of us who love the, the sensory feedback of the different textures as you squish and pull and listen to history or think about that math problem or what have you, this keeps their hands busy while their brain is active. Yep, and then lastly we have the test prep. So whether your state requires test testing every year or not, you want your child to go through this test prep booklet so that they can get familiarized with the testing process for when they will need to test, so that they can practice their test taking skills, and so that you as a teacher can kind of get a feel for how they are testing out, what you've covered this year, what the, what is being reflected in the test scores, and just kind of gives you that little bit of summary. So all in all, just a helpful booklet at the end, towards the end of the year to get, get you both a feel for how it's going. Yep. And I think that pretty well covers fourth grade. As always, we highly recommend taking the placement tests online. Go on, use our customizer if you want to change anything about the kit. Drop us a line if you got a question or need help making your own custom kit. We're always happy to help and we hope you've enjoyed this video. www.timberjewel.com